automatically all in. Just ready to put my life on the line. I've been shot 12 times, so. Man, road, man, road, pot road. It can still get dangerous with them hats, homie. It all depends how you look and where you at. <laughs> He's thrilled with the neighbor gang of rangers oh, today. Oh, oh, oh. And just let the people know who we got out here with us, man. Oh. Yo, what's happening? You know what it is. P Thrizzle, Mr. Far Hunter. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Got my dogs out here. My oh. boy. And let the people know where we at right now, man. Inglewood, the north side. North, north side north, of Inglewood. North. Yeah, yeah, north turn north. that up. And one question I definitely wanted to ask y'all, like this a big neighborhood, like yeah, you yeah. gotta be from this area to necessarily be from this hood. I mean, you have to you have to know somebody, you have to have been around some if you ain't from this neighborhood, you have to be locked in with somebody that was from somebody this area. Family or something yeah, like that. Somebody like that, bro. Now you got it. That's a universal question. Yeah. You know yeah. how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Celebrities yeah. come. Yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> hey. Everybody, everybody wants to come and be a part of the neighborhood. Yeah, the play, but you know what I'm It's saucing like we saucing all these things. A lot of people gonna make it. Ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people go mystery. They, you know, they get lost on the way because you know you come with a lot. So you feel me? You gotta be mad for Like ready, physically, like ready, like. Oh, you know, it get ugly in time. Like the homie said, it get tricky. Yeah. But it's your mind right. Yeah. Yeah. They got a place for niggas that don't. Damn, homie. Hey, get your mother mind right and get crushed from the blind side. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, for the people who don't really know, can y'all basically tell them how y'all hood came about? Our hood came about, man, way like the ending of the 70s, 80s, the beginning of the 80s, bro, you know what I'm saying? Two homies, you know what I'm saying? One from uh, uh, 20s, from neighborhood 20s in Lucas Park, man, they came around here, you feel me? And there was homies from families already over here, you feel me? And uh, they connected, that's how we became neighborhood Paul Road. Mm -hmm. oh. And for the people who don't know about most of that stuff, like how you say, like 20s and all that, yeah. break that down for them. So 20s is like, is a gang, they 20 Bloods, we, we neighborhood Paru, they neighborhood Bloods, and that's like a gang that we allies with, you know what I'm saying, over there in the 20 area, you feel me? Yeah. Now this, it really don't look too treacherous, but hey, I just pulled up just now, like, yeah, yeah. is it safe to be walking around here, like, just... No, but we gonna do it anyways, cause, <laughs> you know, like they said, what's your capri say, if you stay ready, you ain't got to... Get ready, nigga. Bro, Community, you feel me? Gotta protect the community. Before it's gonna say, it's like a, it's like a, box, a cracker jack box. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, you feel me? Gotta roll the dice for me. Gotta roll the dice, make sure you feel me get hit. You know, cause yeah. I see a lot of people. Man, man. You know, they don't tell you, you feel me? But, you feel me? So how big does y'all hood stretch? Man, La Brea, Florence, Sanella, La Cienica, we got, a, we got a nice little area. Street, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, oh, Dara Heights. Oh, you feel me? To the Dara, you, feel? you know what I'm talking about? Oh. Getting it in. Yeah. It's vicious out here, bro. If you ain't, hey, if you ain't ready for what's, what's going to happen, you better stay inside or stay about the way. Right. 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 Or stay on the internet. Yeah. So what's some do's and don'ts when coming hey, around here, man, so man. you don't be... Use emojis. Use emoji straps, blood. Don't, yeah. don't. You're not prepared for the real blick. Yeah. So what's like some do's and don'ts when sliding through here? Uh, just to be cordial, not get into it with nobody. Y'all just hanging out around. How long? How long you just you come in, in and out here? You going? We got to go. I said, but you come around looking. Man, it might, it might be in one of them moves. It ain't one never. One don't come over here, nigga. Yeah, don't yeah, come yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, especially talking back and all that. Nigga, I might have just yeah. got into a mind like, just be yeah. tripping. You yeah. Yeah. I might have broke up on the wrong side of the bed, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. And my bed hey, make my stay ex. Up. Away. <laughs> no reason, and I'm tripping, blood. No, but realistically, like, right, for real, that's, that's yeah. a universal question. But yeah, obviously, right. you know, respect you know, where you at. Yeah, you feel me? Keep it. your head down, and nigga, hope right. we don't see you. you because nine times out of ten, it's bad. Yeah, <laughs> young man, <laughs> get on your. If we do see you, hi, sir. <laughs> Bye, you know man. It's a good word. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, With your head down and your eyes pointing to the floor. <laughs> you recognize the voice? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, there's a few different hoods in the area, like different races and all that. Y'all cordial with like the hoods around here? 
Uh, man, sh- man, I just, hey, hey, nobody's cordial with the neighbors, bro. I'm a, <laughs> like, you feel me? You know the motto. <laughs> you know the motto. Everybody ain't got, 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 no ain't got no friends. You, know? you feel me? Uh, neighbors don't do no favors, so me, it's like so. you know, it's relationships. It's not relationships. It's but however we making, however we feeling, that's that's just how it's gonna be. You feel me? Hey, if you tripping, we tripping. Parter on bloods. And do y'all like got structure around here? Like try to keep each other in compliance? I mean, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're hey, we do. Free. But you always got the you always got the baby kids. They gotta be uh, mm-hmm. you know, put in check and, and you know get chastised, bro. Straight Cause up. Cause even just recently, like the whole world. Just realized that in LA, y'all still like do DPs and all that. Yeah. A lot of cities probably left that around years ago. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's necessary. Mm-hmm. It's necessary, man. No, that, it's, that. Not, it's not. It's not necessary a punishment. You feel me? It's like you feel me. Hey, get your mind right. Get your mind right. You feel me? You up. Hey, right. don't you. let it happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up. You know. So, what age would y'all say y'all jumped off the porch, got to the streets? Twelve. For me. Sixteen. I ain't gonna lie. Seventeen. And at all them ages like that, here at 12, 16, 17, a lot of other teenagers was like living their life, probably thinking about college or like, what sucked y'all into the streets? Man, family, really, that's that's my, my whole goal of getting, being in front of the hood over here is because I ain't had no family, so I was looking for a family. And when I seen that, like, you know what I'm saying, jumped off the porch and I got put on, we was all like brothers, you feel me? And I seen like, when I got my building up, my reputation, I seen how it was and I seen the, the love that, that there was, bro. Or, you know, what I was thinking was that you feel me? I was like, bro, this is like a family, bro. So I was automatically all in, ready to put my life on the line. I've been shot 12 times, so that's just how, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was doing a little research. I was definitely about to ask you, too. I seen that you said you were shot multiple times. Mm-hmm. Can you speak on that? Or like, what happened? Man, I was shot, like, shot on many different occasions. So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Gang banging in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, you know, roll up, hit you up, and, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, get it letting off, bro. Like that, that first time I got shot, let off. They let off, bro. You know what I'm saying? I done been in like, man. You know what I'm saying? Fire to fire. You know what I'm saying? Type, of, bro. You feel me? And you know, been canned down and in two comas, paralyzed fully, bro. You feel me? So I still deal with a limp like that, just from the war wounds of being out here, bro. Hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's even what's being what's out here for this long and like having a face you got, how do you even? do stuff being this popular or like everybody know you man. even if they don't know you you got yeah. the little tattoo on your face yeah, so it's sure, like man. they know you anyway yeah for sure man hey you know what i'm saying i just i, I just let it be they what know. it is blood you feel me you know what i'm saying hey you know i press how i press bro like you know what i'm saying and you gonna respect it or you, you gotta check it bro. straight up really honestly you know what i'm saying nah i did see a little uh somewhere too have you ever been to jail out here yeah, I've been to prison. Nah, coming from like the hood you come from and all that. Yeah. How was jail? Man, prison is in that sense. Man, that's, that's hectic. You know what I'm saying? Especially me being Filipino. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Being from a black gang and running black, that's that crazy. But you know what I'm saying? Especially like when I first started going to jail back when I was younger too. They really didn't accept it, bro. Like how it is now, it's kind of like it's more accepting than it was. You feel me? So. um you had to like, yo, they was gonna test you, your people wanna see if you really with the funk, you know what I'm saying? So you was gonna get your, your issue, you know what I'm saying? And you had to handle it, cause you know, back then, like if you didn't handle you, for sure you gonna get your smashed out, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Even the white boys still trip, you feel me? To this day, now you got a lot of like, Hispanic bloods and Chris, so it's kinda like, you know? So you think probably it's like, so when you got in there, you probably had to run the phase with air, just yeah. off the fact that you was Filipino. Yeah, yeah. Then I was lit on all small. They like, man, you know what I'm saying? They think, oh, they got trying to easy, crush you. They got an easy win. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Then I'm tat. I got tats. I already had tats when I was young, going to juvenile hall like that. You know what I'm saying? I busters when they like this little got CK on. Oh, nigga, we gon' we own it, bro. You know what I'm saying? We gon' get him on it. You feel me? He a little nigga too. We own him. You know what I'm saying? Well, I had all the tricks of the trade. Hey, I, as soon as they run up in, I'll be on the bunk ready. I jump off, keep flying, kick, boop, pop, boop. You feel me? Rush him on the toilet, boop, pop, boop, pop. Hey, sock them when they brush their teeth, go in there and walk by when they brush their teeth. This ain't no rules in there. Hey, I'm little, so I'm going to get my eyes in. I don't give a fuck what you call it. Oh, you did a sneak snake. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, you feel me? I don't give a fuck. You brushing their teeth. Hey, come with the, with the, the sock in their soul. Boop, boop, boop. You feel yeah. me? We definitely, like, see y'all with, like, 
minimal hoods, but a few hoods around. Like, is y'all clicking up with any hoods around? Nah. Nah, I mean, we, 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 we cool and we allied. We, like, we got allies and shit. Nah, we, we, we ain't clicking up with no other hoods, though. No. Well, slides though. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all, you it's know all what I'm saying? It's all good, you feel me? You know? We ain't some family. Love, you know, but nah. You know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was reading a lot of fan comments too, and they also wanted to know like, when you gonna start doing verses with like people that's not from the West Coast? Man, I'm, I'm down. You feel me? I'm down to do verses with anybody. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't Hollywood. Hey, my mother, Instagram is open. My DMs is open. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Hey, tell me, I'm down to do it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you feel me? As long, as you, as, long as you a real mother, I do them with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't Hollywood. Like, oh, you know, like, nigga, I don't care about none of that. You a real nigga? I'm gonna talk. With you, bro. Bro. Straight up. Uh, yeah. So do y'all got like big homies around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They still got all that in. Yeah, you got a lot of gang on still here with us. Yeah. Sure, solid ones too. Bro, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, what's happening, blood? Thanks for saying it. Where you at? We at the park right now. All right, so we, we we might hit a different spot though. So just just hit me. Yeah, tell us about like growing up around here. Hey, we finna walk down this way. Uh, going up around here, man. And growing up around here was fun as a mother. like we had fun like a mother. you know. Everybody's come out, especially you know what I'm saying everybody knew each other. Everybody family knew each other. You know what I'm saying you go sleep at the I go sleep at the homie Kivo house. You know what I'm saying Mama Dulo. You feel me? I go to Lil Pint, rest in peace, my dog. Go, go with him and his auntie house, you feel me? My boy Ke uh, Primo, Kelly Kelly, you feel me? Go with my boy, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, everybody, we just we just all hang, man. Everybody, it was all love and shit like that, you feel me? Now, like, oh. growing up in the, the era you grew up in out here, it was like treacherous, probably with the gang culture and all that yeah is this still the same man you know hey hey what they be saying uh hey niggas die every day be yeah still get killed still get killed and you know what i'm saying it's just a new generation it's the same thing going on just a new generation you feel me nah with all uh the internet and all let out here like do you think the internet it's one of the reasons why people like end up getting killed or crashed out in the city. Yeah, because they be running their mouth on the internet thinking that they can't get touched. But like, real out here, fool, like, you got to know, like, that you say you, nigga, you, you run into too. Like, you know, you can't whoop, you whooping like that. You don't know who you're going to run into, bro. You know what's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? So if you feel like, I mean, if you're really in the streets, you probably shouldn't be on the internet at all? Yeah, like, you, well, Nick, you, you can do what you got to do, but you ain't got to be like, Woofing on there and like beatboxing and all that shit. This and niggas like that right here. Look, this. All this right here, bro. Man, like this used to be like. This used to be like this where we used to be at, bro. All over here, bro. All the way down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the first. Now, y'all keep his name alive. Can y'all basically let us know who he was and the who? impact he had on the hood? Who? Who he just said? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Tiny Talk? No, yeah, Tiny Talk. I seen that on, on uh, the fans asking about it. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, but, uh, we got homies like Big Dulo, you feel me, 211, you know what I'm saying, Lil Pint, like, this right here, this, 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 this right here, this used to be, this, we used to, that back down that way, you know, some apartments we used to be at, and, uh, it was, it was treacherous, man, and they dug them apartments, so they found guns, all type of, bro, you know what I'm saying, we ain't even gonna speak on, but, <laughs> that was, this is the first original projects, bro, where we used to be at, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the, you know, the big homie Big Talk. This was his spot, bro. Everybody used to come here, bro, since way in the 80s, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I've been around this since, like, 87, homie. And can you basically, like, let us know, like, with the gentrification, I was just asked for them and all that, and you said it was, like, pretty shocking and all that. Yeah, yeah. You think stuff like this should be historic, even though it's, like, a tragedy when it sounds like how you speak about it? Yeah, it's historic, homie. Oh, yeah, because 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 we didn't get a chance to live in the hood when it looked like this. You know, it's it's historic, who right now? Because if I had some extra bread, I'm moving this <laughs> and, come and be smoking weed strapped down. In front of 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's an upgrade, homie, for, for the struggle we come from, homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We took advantage of this type of shit. The young homies now, they ain't got to fuck with the hood. They can go to Hollywood, Westwood, different jurisdictions. A lot of my money, a lot of my hustle, heartache, pains, and tears came from right here, homie. So I'm a strong believer in this right here, dog. And as far as, like, the the violence in the city a lot of people don't really see it that much going on is it still like colors and all that out here it ain't i wouldn't put it on the colors level homie because you see how we looking right now yeah. we kind of neutral the homie flank neutral but we kind of neutral so it make it a little bit kind of more dangerous yeah. and that token because you know back in the days when i was really doing it we was like kind of you see how the homie got a flank Pendleton on this how we was every day all day so you kind of knew your targets whether if they was ripping the blood and homie right. but when you see when you see us like this it's cool it's mellow but it's dangerous because i could slip past you be thinking i'm regular and i can hit you right. so it's kind of you know what i'm saying it's mixed emotions with how dangerous it is homie we see a lot of people talking about like different hats and all that too like, is it that serious like if I had like a, a New York hat on or a Houston Astros hat, well, it, well, uh, me oh, and my yeah. me and my homeboy, we was cutting it up about that. It can still get dangerous with them hats, homie. It all depends how you look and where you at. It right. can get dangerous, homie. It's like a bingo sign if you're in the right area for it. Yeah, bingo. Right. You know what I mean? Now you even you ask no questions out. Now even with you like being out your whole life and all that, you probably had like popularity from before phones was out at the phones that all that how do an og still move around the city and do what you want to do and it's like you really like from around forever man it's like uh man it's a technique man it's math to this <laughs> homie on how a nigga survive because it's equations it's divisions it's math homie everything is on a precise move and even it even out here it's dangerous right now even though we out here trying to think it look good it's dangerous because the homies the homies that stay stay in the mix of different confrontations, right. whether it's me or somebody else. But moving around like me, homie, I, I was pretty much hands-on. I built personal communication and relationships with the young homies. I, I, I really walked the field and all that, homie. So, you know, and, and, and this my home. I didn't have nowhere to go, so I stayed entrenched. And I stayed heavily what I believed in. And when you were OG, homie, you push like that, brother. You got to get down with the young homies, you know, phase some of them. Some of them might, you know gain some, some some popularity and kind of give you a good squabble you done had to squabble some of the little homies <laughs> yeah, yeah, squabble. that's how you become a g that's how you really push a g and the young homies uh, uh, uh respect you homie it ain't all about popping you know sometimes we might have words and we gotta run them and the, and the little homies gotta turn they corner we turn our corner they be like damn the big homie was tripping or we might gotta be like blood i respect the little homie the nigga got down he still just grounds for here i'm gonna right. go back and drink and smoke with him and relace him and let him know what the was about homie okay, okay. so we gotta do that that's ogs homie nigga i didn't respect none of my ogs they couldn't get out here and squad with us and check us and all that Nigga, you wasn't no OG like that, homie. You sidelining it. So that's how our OG stay entrenched in this community, homie. And, uh, tell us about, like, how the hood and, and the city even probably changed from when you was coming up during this. projects in the turf one of our reputable g homeboys taco he stayed right here homie so this was like a killing field battlefield homie we didn't have many shootouts and all kind of homies and died back here and all kind of so to see the development and everything homie it's a big old shocker homie it's a big old shocker homie and it's good for the community so they ain't got to go through the same we went through they got a better chance now now we was asking everybody like about the big homies and the structure in the hood and all that. How do y'all keep this hood structured, like OGs like yourself? Well, I'm pretty much sitting, you know, I'm sitting in the back seat right now, but when I was coming up to keep the hood structured, structure, we pushed heavily, you know, heavily disciplined. You know, we was hands on with each other, you know, verbally and physically, you know, but uh, up and coming times, you know, the young homies, they, they tried to carry out that path, homie, 
but a lot of dudes come from broken homes, so it's hard for them to adjust to, 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 to the violent activities that we used to uh, press upon one another to keep us uh, walking a straight line on this gangster. Like, LA definitely, like you were saying, made a name for like, uh, you had to get like beat in or something to like join the hood or even like the DPs and all that. Is all that stuff still happen? Or is it like really like family oriented enough? Uh, joining the hood, you mean? Yeah. Uh, joining the hood, it didn't, it didn't went past family oriented. You know, you come join these hoods now for all kinds of because the mother got a couple dollars, got a flashy car, couple jewel pieces around his neck like that so it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of like that right now you know what i'm saying family and orientated it ain't too much like that because we didn't really let our kids step out here on this island that uh we took sail upon you know what i'm saying and uh you know that's basically how that run right there man now this city is like known for like being targeting people that got a buzz or people that could probably either make it out the city do you feel like at some point in time you could leave the hood behind and just move to another state? I mean, I mean, I feel like life, hey, hey, life, you don't stay stagnated in life. Like, you feel me? Like, you know, you don't know what life has in store for you. So I don't know what I, I can say. Like, hey, if that was God's plan for me to be out there, then that's just how it's going to be. You feel me? Like, this is where I grew up at. I'm always going to love Inglewood. This to the death, bro. You feel me? But. You know what I'm saying? I still gotta, I still gotta live my life. You know, life be life, and bro, you feel me? You know. So. Now it seemed like in the city, like a lot of snitching, a lot of paperwork, and all that been coming out recently from a lot of people we probably didn't even know was on that type of time. Yeah. Do you think like money and clout, like people don't get held accountable for it if they got one of the two? Yeah. If they. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you got money, bro, they don't give a, they'll overlook, man. It's, that's what you call dirty politics. They'll overlook all that, bro. Oh, you know, he told, he got the paperwork on him, bro. But that's, you know, that's my, that's my brother. That's my relative. And, bro, and he out here feeding niggas, bro. They gonna look past that, bro. You know what I'm saying? They'll do all type of weird for money, bro. You feel me? Sell they sold for money. So, you know what I mean? Oh, so, yeah, they gonna, if a nigga got the money and a nigga feeding them, yeah, they gonna overlook all that. Bro, because that's what that's the factor that's going on right now is the money, bro. So, so do lay their own family, do lay their own family for money, bro. So, so, yeah, bro. And another question I like to ask, like most of the guests I come on here, like so, uh, so TI ended up going on a podcast and he said that, like, him and his cousin went to jail for pistol cases, yeah. And in the process of their trial, his cousin died. And the lawyer basically told him, if you say the pistol was your cousin, you can get out today. And he did. Do you think telling on somebody that's dead is still snitching? Yeah. Yeah. That guy ran. Yeah. He gone for him. Yeah, I mean, you know, say, yeah. getting on the stand on anybody, bro, is, is basically telling, bro. Getting on the stand, period. Like, you feel me? You're speaking on something if you're getting on the stand. So, yeah. And another question I want to ask, because y'all seem real tight. Upon looking the hood up, I can't really see like too much spats with the hood and back and forth and all that. Like, how do y'all keep all the goofy people, or the the even snitch activity out y'all crowd? Man, keep it real. You just you mind. You gotta monitor. Them. As soon as they they start acting funny, you gotta get rid of them before all that occur, bro. Cause if not, bro, all that does is bring bring issues and problems on So as soon as you see funny moves, like you know what I'm saying, it's like boot camp, bro. Can't make it past the boot camp. You gotta go. You feel me? Straight up. And what's y'all whole view like on dissing dead people in songs and all that? When y'all try to like hold each other accountable, it's like really do whatever you want to do. I mean, man, I don't know. Hey, whatever the next man do is on the next man. Hey, like, Cause I don't really see too much like from this area. It's like just regular music you could turn up to. I don't yeah. really be seeing too much dissing from this area. Yeah, that that yeah, that ain't really like you know what I'm saying. They have it though, but yeah, it's around. It's 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 not it's not it's not big at, out here as it is probably in other places, bro. You feel me? It's like all that, bro. Get your man, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. But I you know I see they doing it to disrespect the suck aside, but you know that ain't you know what I'm saying. That really ain't bragging like that out here like that. Yeah, they they doing what they they, they trying to gentrify like it's like bro like. You know what I'm saying? They trying to boot everybody out that's like, that's, you know, from the soil, but that's kind of like brazy to me. I'd be like, 
them, bro. Like looking around, it's like nobody really don't like nobody really hanging out like that. It's like the streets be kind of dry sometimes, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Homies come through, hang out, do this and that, slide through patrol but you know what I'm saying it ain't like how it was back in the day where everybody was hanging out and just chilling it ain't like that no more bro you feel me y'all have any like run-ins with anybody living in these buildings or they probably just keep their distance when they nah. see no, 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 you, no, no. there's so many apartments over here they have run to all the time bro like <laughs> all time be going on over here you, running, you don't know who you running into bro you know what I'm saying yeah. I didn't, we didn't have full blown, we didn't have full blown, full blown uh, rumbles and riots in the apartment, bro. You feel me? Then we didn't, we didn't ran to because that was in the entertainment industry. Like, you live over here? Like, what you live over here for? Like, bro, like, you feel me? Like, that's why they call Inglewood. It's the city of champions, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I love Inglewood, fool. Like, it's, just, it's, it's, it's different than any other city, bro. In LA, too, though. You feel me? We out here, we got our own style, our own swag. We got our own way. Like, you know, that niggas be, they be hating on Inglewood niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? They hate on Inglewood niggas, bro. You feel me? If you're liking the content from On The Couch TV, I'm going to need you to like and leave a comment. Also, check out our Instagram page at On The Couch TV for early and exclusive access to a lot of content.